What's up everybody? It's your girl Sydney Goodman and if you didn't know, well now you know. So I'm finally getting around to doing this video which is my skincare routine. Um, if you've been watching me for a while then you know that my skin has gotten like significantly better even since I started streaming which was like five years ago um, and I just wanted to take you through kind of what I do for my skin and uh, hopefully it helps you. Oh, okay. Um, the caveat for this video, which I always put anytime I give advice, I am not an expert by any means. I'm not a dermatologist. I'm not a skincare guru. I'm somebody who did a moderate amount of research before I started using these products. And I've seen a dermatologist and I'll get into that in a second, but this is just what I found has worked the best for me. And it is a skincare routine that I have used for probably about the last year, I would say, um, give or take a few different products. Um, but okay, let's start. So I thought I'd start with the AM um, because I'm currently wearing my makeup and stuff and we'll take all that out for PM, but I just show you what I do for the AM. I have this little guy, it's my cellar water. Uh, you can get it off Amazon, CVS, Target, and it's not too, too expensive. I just bought a new bottle that's like twice the size of this and it was about $15 off Amazon. I just put a little bit of this on a cotton pad, wipe around my face, let it dry, and then, I use two products from moisturizer. So I use this Christina Moss Naturals Organic Facial Moisturizer. It's unscented. Um, I It's not that my skin has any issues necessarily with scented products, but I just prefer to do unscented because why add the extra stuff? I'm like, I don't really care to mix a bunch of scents on my face. Like nobody's getting that close to my face. At least nobody who cares what I smell like. Um, and the nice thing is this little guy is about $26. So. It's a little bit more, I don't know, I would say almost everything with the exception of a few things that I splurged on is about $26 and there's very few instances where I have to buy everything at the same time except for the very first time that I started this skincare routine. Um, but anyways, so I do the micellar water, I put this bad boy on, the moisturizer, and then I put this Dermalogica oil-free 30 SPF sunscreen. I prefer to do a sunscreen that is separate from a moisturizer, like it's not like a tinted sunscreen, it's not like a tinted, or it's not a moisturizer with sunscreen. I don't know why, I just, in my head it feels like it works better. Um, but yeah, SPF is like so, so important for your skin and to protect it from the sun, because even if you don't think you're in the sun, the sun's getting to you, man. It's relentless. But yeah, this one's a little bit more expensive. I wanna say I just got it and it was close to $60. Um, it was like 58 or something. Um, but the nice thing is with a lot of these products, a little goes a long way. I'm gonna show you. So what I typically would do is I'd take like a little dab like that and then you just, I'm not gonna put it on my face cause I have makeup, but you just like put a dab and then like that whole thing just did my whole entire hand. Amazing, that's great. The other thing I'll say is I always apply everything to my neck as well. Um, just like anti-aging thing, but you know, your neck's also seeing as much sun as your face and whatever. But so that is my morning routine. It's like that simple, it's really easy. Um, and then in the evening, it's a little bit more involved. So let me show you that one. First things first, I have my hair up already but I put this really cute little headband on so that my little wispies don't get all, all gross. Cute fashion, so cute. Mm, mm, yes, hot. Okay, um, I take my makeup off, which for you non-makeup wearers out there, not interesting to you, um, but I actually use this eyelash cleanser. It's, the bottle looks like janky as hell, but you actually can just buy like the, like the actual like look like the goop and then i mix it with some filtered water and it has the ratios on here and the reason why i do that is because i do have fake eyelashes they're eyelash extensions so surprise everyone if you guys thought i had natural eyelashes absolutely not i get them done every other week it's fantastic best investment ever anyways so i use a brush to take off all my eye makeup um which honestly i feel like is something that anybody should be doing because your eyes your eye area is just so delicate that you know when you're using a cloth it's so easy to just pull when really you can get the job done with a brush so let's do that First, I'll just get it wet. And you might be saying like, Sydney, this doesn't look very effective. <laughs> and you're not wearing very much eye makeup, which is true because I don't typically wear that. I'll, I have some bronzer on here. 
I have like a quick wisp of something like shiny and then I put a little bit here, but that's another video. Anyways, um, this is just as effective when I wear full stage makeup. It might just take like a little bit longer or like a second application. But I'll just get in my eyelashes and then I just wash it off still with the brush. And then pat, pat, pat. The biggest thing that I have to remember and that um, I think I've learned as I've gotten older and as I've like worked as a host and have a lot more makeup artists touching my face is like you don't need to like be angry with your face and like pushing really hard to get the moisturizer in because like I'm really I used to be really aggressive with my face but you can just like be really light and pat it and like you're friends you know you're just like friends going to the beach so now that my eye makeup is off um okay so oops now that my eye makeup is off, I do something that like maybe you're not really supposed to do because it literally says on the bottle, don't do this, but I do it anyways. Oh look, it's me, wait, Inception. Anyways, um, <laughs> so I do it anyways, but first up is I use an oil cleanser. And what I'm talking about is I don't actually take my face makeup off. If I'm wearing a ton, a ton of face makeup, maybe I'll squirt some of that eyelash stuff on a cotton pad or I'll t get one of the like Neutrogena oil-free uh, makeup remover pads, but I just, I prefer not to use those. Um, but this actually, the oil cleanser gets a ton of makeup off, so I'll do it multiple times if I have to. Um, I'll do this first step and the foam cleanser the second step multiple times until I have gotten all the makeup off. But in either case, every day I start my PM, my night cleanse with an oil, a cleansing oil. It's Claire's. I really like it. It's about $23, um, so not too, too bad. And it lasts me usually about a like, probably lasts me like three-ish months. But so I just take like a nice little squirt, just like one squirt, and then I'll sprinkle a little water in there, rub it on my hands. And then again, like you can just be like really nice to your face and kind of do nice little, little circles. And it is weird because it's like straight up oil, but I've found that it makes a really big difference. I like it a lot. I'll just kind of like massage my face again. Like I'm not a professional, but this is what I've found works for me. Um, but I'm definitely not saying that what I'm doing is perfect. Um, and everybody's skin is so different. I have kind of like a combination, combination skin, meaning that like I'm really oily in my T-zone right here, here. But then I have like, like I'm really dry right here. Well, not really dry, but I'm relatively dry. I'll just go over it again with just some straight up water. And I don't know if, they'll, if I'm a little too overexposed, but you can kind of see that it's has like a, little bit of like a white film on my face. So, that's the cleansing oil. I was like, that's it. I just clean my face with oil and it's done. Next up is from the same brand, Claire, Claire's, 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 um, and it's the foaming cleanser. Uh, so this is kind of what I do in the evening is an adapted version of like, I think it's like the 10 step Korean skincare routine. Um, I'm not sure why it's so important that you use a foaming cleanser. I'm not sure if that's like, it's important to use in conjunction with an oil cleanser or if that's just like foam cleansers or magic. I don't know, but I use a foam cleanser and this is it. And I think it's $18 and it works great. Um, and even though Claire's is a Korean brand, but I do get it off Amazon, super easy. So I have a little bit of foam in my hand, rub it together, off. and then I just, again, just like work it into my skin. Like just be really nice and gentle. Like notice like I'm mostly using the, my fingertips. Like I'm not just like, yeah, I'm not doing that. Well, I just did it, but I'm not doing that except for to show you guys for examples. Okay. Amazing, so good. And a huge reason you're gonna see my toner is also Claire's. And a huge reason why I use Claire's is, um, I actually didn't do this research, my friend Annie, thanks Annie, um, did this research for me, well for her and then shared it with me, is because, so all the ingredients, well not all of it, 
but most of the back of this is in Korean, which I don't read. And um, she made sure that, you know, the stuff that's in here isn't harmful. There's no like crazy chemicals or plastics or like weird things in it. Okay, so next up is exfoliate. It's a sugar scrub. Um, well, I don't know if it's technically a scrub. I don't know enough to know if it's a scrub or a polish, but this is a polish. It is a sugar polish. It is the gentle black sugar facial polish. It says it exfoliates dead skin cells, controls blackheads, and moisturizes dry patches. Um, but yeah, this is what I use. I'll do it about one to two times a week. I think you're supposed to do it two to three times a week, but sorry. This is what I do. I think this is about $23. It's a pretty big pot and I've had it for about a year and I'm getting close to the bottom, but I would say it's like totally worth it. So I usually just take like a little scoop with my finger. Also you guys, I keep forgetting, look at my hair. <laughs> And then I run my finger under the water faucet, like just like really quickly. So now it's a little bit wet. And then I'll just dab it in my areas. And then take two fingers and kind of like swirl it about. I know it can be really intimidating for someone who maybe if you're watching this and you're like, I don't currently do anything for my skin. Like I use body lotion as face lotion, which like, you know, isn't doing much for you. Um, and it's really intimidating to all of a sudden, A, first off, buy a bunch of products, super expensive. Um, but second, to commit to doing this like every night. Um, I will admit it's hard for me to do this every night. Like some nights I just really don't wanna do it, but I've seen such a difference in my skin and I know that I'm setting it up for the future. Um, so it like becomes worth it to me. So now I have this on my face. Gonna take that water and just, Go back through with circle motions to get it off my face. And then dab, dab, dab. And it should be worth noting that I keep this towel separate and I cycle it through weekly. Um, but like nobody's supposed to put their hands on it. It's literally only for my face. So cool, now we're exfoliated. Next up is the toner. This one is another Claire's product. I think it was like 20-ish dollars. Yeah, it was like $22. It is the Moisturizing Skin Care Program. Nope, that's not what it is. It's a supple preparation unscented toner. So I just dab some of this on a little friend. Cotton pad, See, it's like that. I just hit it a few times. And then just do this. So I think toners work to like even out your skin tone. To be honest with you, I don't use my toner every day. Um, I just don't. And when I was on my acne medication, like I used a topical medication, which I'll get to at the end of this, um, I just stopped using the toner altogether. But I will get to that in a second. So yeah, super easy, did the toner. And next up is Technically Essence, which I did for a little bit. I'll show you what I used, um, but to be honest, I didn't really see a huge point and it was kind of expensive. I don't remember how expensive it was, but I remember running out of it pretty quickly and it, it felt more like a luxury. Uh, so that comes down, that actually brings up a really good point with this whole skincare routine is that you should, if you're looking to adapt it for you, maybe like definitely get samples of things and try out which products work best on your skin um, and what you like the most, but also like, you don't have to do all the steps just to say you've done them, like only do what serves you for the most part. I mean, you should definitely wash your face, like don't skip all that and just use moisturizer. But um, like, I don't think you should be a slave to the 10 steps, um, which is why I've cut some of them out. So this is the essence that I used to use. You can't really see it. It is a Time Revolution First Treatment Essence Mist. I don't use skin lightening products and I found a lot of essence ha were skin lightening. Um, but let's see if I have anything left. Yeah, I have absolutely nothing. It's this like nice little mist and it feels really, really good. But again, it was just like very expensive for what it was and I didn't really see it doing very much for me. So we'll throw this out now. Next up is I use a serum in the evening. It is an IS Clinical, maybe it's called IS Clinical Active Serum. It's kind of come off. This thing is expensive. This is one of the things that I splurge on. It is $84 for this little tube. This tube usually lasts me between three to four months. Um, but I've seen a significant difference. This actually was the first product that I bought when I started like taking my skin care routine seriously. It was recommended to me by a facialist um, and I had, I mean, not really anymore, but I used to get a lot of like z small zits that were like under the skin 
and specifically on my forehead I got them on my chin too, my forehead and my chin and I saw after using this after for like a month I saw a noticeable decrease up in my forehead um, we'll get to my chin in a second but up in my forehead I found a difference so I've heard there's several different ways to put serum on. The way that I used to do it was I'd drop this into my fingers and then warm it up and put it on my face because with serum you do, it's helpful whenever you put product on your on your face to have like the warmth of your skin kind of warm it up and activate it. Um, but what I do now is I kind of like do that and then I'll rub it in a little bit. So yeah, there's that. And then I just press my face, my hands, also, this should go without saying your hands should be clean when you're doing this. Um, but I mean, there's also a school of thought that says that you should be doing all of this with a brush so that your hands never touching your face, but mm, I don't got time for that, dude. Uh, so yeah, so I kind of like do the little, whoo. Sometimes I'll slap it, kind of warm it up, except the serum, it's so expensive, love it absorb all of it <laughs> so then there's the serum fun 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 um and then next up is a mask so i don't do masks every day i usually do it about once a week um maybe twice a week if i'm feeling crazy and i feel like i really need the self-love but this is one of the masks that i use um it's an everyday mask so technically the ingredients are safe enough and it's not too strong that you could use it every day if you really wanted to it's about 60 dollars for one of these little jars um i do a combination of this and sheet masks and because i don't use this weekly this has actually lasted me quite a bit of time um, i'm not going to do it today because i don't really have time to sit around and have this on my face but to give you it is the luxury cre it is the luxury treatment um honey cream mask with active manuka which is honey a uh, umf 16 plus don't know what that means but this is what it is this is what it looks like on the inside and i usually just scoop it up and then i'll run it under the water a little bit just to get it a little malleable because otherwise it's pretty sticky and then i'll just spread it on my face and sometimes i'll even just do my problem areas like a lot of times i'll do it here and do like my t-zone and just right here but we're not gonna do that today. But if I'm doing a sheet mask, I love these. I think you say it in free, in is free. These sheet masks, um, they're Korean sheet masks. They're wonderful. They're like 83 cents. I buy them in bulk um, from their US website. And you just put it on your face and I leave it there for about 10 minutes. That's the same with this one. And yeah, it's just really great. Um, when I go on long plane rides, so I leave for Germany tomorrow and I'm gonna bring two of these actually, uh, just to keep my face nice and moisturized and happy. I especially, I always use them after I travel. Anytime I get on a plane, I always use it. Um, but yeah, so that's the face mask part. Then next up is I will put my PM moisturizer on, which is Beth to This Hydrate and Repair Immortal and Rose. It's this stuff. This is another one that's a splurge product for me. It's about, I think this one's also like 68. Oh, it is 68. I have all the prices written down down there. Um, it's about $68. And, but the nice thing is a little goes a long way. Here's the jar. Um, and it, the jars usually last me about, about three months. But so, see, I just take this little bit. And whenever I put any product on my face, I always kind of dot it first. Um, but yeah, this is always so when you guys are like Sydney, you look so oily and are why are you so sweaty? This is literally why it's because of all the stuff I put on my face um, But yeah, this is this stuff is magic. I love it so much um, I wouldn't say it's as magic as this one like I didn't see as an immediate difference But I do notice a difference in my skin. Uh, so that's my moisturizer and then next up is I use an eye cream. This one's an Aromatica Rose Absolute Eye Cream. I really, really like it. This is a Korean brand. Um, I can currently only find it through like Korean stores. Like I have to get it shipped from Korea, but um, I highly recommend it. I think it was like $30. Oh, it was $25, $25. And little goes a long way. I've literally had this for like a year. I've had it for so long. So I just put a nice little cute little dab there and then I'll put one underneath both of my eyes. Um, and then this one, I don't really scoot. I'm more just like dab, dab, dab. Like I'm not like stretching it across my face. Yeah, and I don't really put it on my eyelid. Wait, the wrong eyes closing. <laughs> I don't really put it on the eyelid, but I'll put it in like the corner and I just kind of cover this area. And occasionally, occasionally I will use this um, in the mornings 
but not very often. And then we're almost at the end. Then next up is I use the Kiehl's lip balm. Um, I only use lip balm in the evening. I do not use it throughout the day um, because I don't want my lips to become dependent on lip balm, but I always use this at the end of the day. Just put right here. Keep it hydrated. Um, my a makeup artist actually, her name's Annabelle, she's wonderful. Um, recommended it to me because my lips are really prone to getting dry and I just was like I'm not using any lip balm da 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 and you do have to be careful what kind of lip balm you use because not all lip balms are created equal some of them have a product in it that's naturally pretty drying I don't really know why they do that I don't know if it's like a business tactic or what or if there's some like positive property of this drying substance but I know Kiehl's doesn't have it and like Burt's Bees doesn't have it um, and so yeah this is what I use and I use it every evening Keep my neck, my lips nice and full or whatever, youthful. Um, and then this one's like a bonus um, because I have lash extensions and I, but I also wanna keep my natural lashes strong. And with that said, even if you don't have lash extensions, I did use a lash enhancement um, prior to getting lash extensions and they do work really well. But so what I do is this one is, Rodent, Rodent and Fields Enhancements. This one is pretty expensive. I think it's like $160. Um, there's another one called Grande Lash that's less expensive that I've used in the past that also worked really well, uh, but I just figured why not amp it up and I tried this one this time and I really like it. Uh, but so there's a lot of product on the brush so I just kind of wipe it back and forth and then I would just apply it on my lid. I'm not gonna do that because I usually do it right before I go to bed because uh, sometimes it gets in your eye and it kind of hurts. But yeah, that's my full routine. So I wanna be fully transparent with you guys. This didn't like change my skin 100%. It definitely, I would say it got me like 80% there in the last 20%, I did see a dermatologist for help. And the way that I looked at it, and I don't know if this like actually is scientifically backed, but after talking to some, um, Oh no, look at my hair. <laughs> After talking to some makeup artists and talking to, or, and like doing some research, I found that while most of my face was clear, I had this like zit that would come up, like it would be there and then it would leave and it would come back. It was one of those big angry ones that was like really deep. Um, and I just needed help getting rid of it and kind of giving my face a clean slate. I don't like using prescriptions on my face. Um, it's not always bad. I know that like retinol is like really good for your skin apparently or whatever. It's good for anti-aging, whatever it is. I just prefer not in general to use them, but that's your choice. Anyways, I went to see a dermatologist and what she gave me was she gave me this Epiduo and um, I just used it on my chin every evening and then I had something that I replaced my toner with. It was a witch hazel plus like prescription little thing and um, I just put it on a cotton pad and used it in the mornings every other day. I did that for about a month and it cleared everything up and then I stopped using it and now I just do this and this is what my face looks like. So thanks guys so much for watching. Hopefully it's helpful. Um, again, just some like last minute tips. Use samples if you're looking into getting product and you don't wanna get the product that I have, um, which makes sense because again, everybody's skin is totally different, but hopefully this gives you a good start to you know what you wanna do. And I think that doing anything to help your skin, whether that's drinking an extra glass of water or even just like washing your face and moisturizing it is just so helpful and your skin will love you for it. And when you're old, it won't melt off your face. Um, so anyways, don't forget to put your comments down below in the description. If you have any questions, I'll try my best to answer it um, or maybe some friends can help you. But don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and turn on notifications so you're the first to know when new video drops. Bye-bye.